your videos here. Today I'm going to show you some tips in Rise of Nations. So step one, first you want to choose a nation. For me, I'm going to choose Malta. You can tell I've already started on it. So we're going to choose Malta and see if I'm already at war. So step two, you want to click on your flag and look at your country. So here you can see that you can basically form different unions. Ideologies, you can choose from these policies. There's many. I recommend going for the Neutrality Act if you're not aligned. Modifiers, well, you'll get them along the way at some time during the game. Rankings, it shows you which countries are the strongest. For me, I'm in 19th place. And factions are the different kinds of factions you can join, like the European Accords, or Communist Federation in this case. So, step number three is diplomacy, economy, technology, and military. Diplomacy is basically where you can find different countries and be allies with them, go to war with them, or have truces with them. For me, these used to be my allies, but yeah. They basically just created a group. For economy, it basically shows you what your income is and what your expenses are. Most likely it's going to be military and taxes. So, if you are in debt, most likely I would say try to go for normal, high, maximum taxation and put government spending and research spending to a level. The technology, you can choose from infantry, tanks, naval, support, economic, aerial, research, and political. I recommend going for research as fast as possible so you can gain the most as fast as possible. So for me, in a second, it's going to change from 5.6 to 8.3. And finally, military, where you can hire different military leaders from Navy, Army, or Air Force, and you can put them in different military groups, but you have to name the group and then create it. Go to military leaders, choose one, and assign it. Number four, well, step four, is basically war and other things. So if you want to declare war on someone, you've got to click on one of their cities, or you can go to diplomacy and search them up. So let's just choose Cuba, for example. Now, if you want to declare war, you need a reason to go to war. So, just to fight war, goal. conquest means you will invade the country. Subjugate means you will basically take them as your puppet. And liberation means you will basically free all the countries within the nation. And there's a bunch of other things like resources. And there, there's just a lot of them. And the most useful ones, I would say, are titanium. So you can see there's a lot of titanium. So that means if I want titanium, I've got to invade Egypt. So, and if you guys enjoy this video, please share it with your friends or something. can recommend it to a friend, I guess. And I'll see you guys 